What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to my channel. Today marks one year since I rebranded. Thank you guys for all your support. I originally started this channel in September 2016, but back then I was just a gaming channel. I was only making episodes on my PS4, so I didn't put much thought behind my videos back then. I would just upload whatever I was recording, and it was really easy, nothing to it. And for that, I wasn't getting any views. I only had 20 subscribers, and there was no growing at all. So I knew I wanted to rebrand, I knew I had to make a change, because a lot of my videos back then were not the greatest, I didn't really know how to do YouTube or how I really want to go about my channel, I didn't know what I want to really do. So in October 2017 is whenever I finally rebranded, but I only had a 4th gen iPod, so I had to record my audio separate on my laptop and kind of put them together. So my videos back then were not the best of quality. I was trying though, and I will credit myself on that, I was at least trying to make something work. Like I said, I didn't know the direction I wanted my channel to go, I didn't know what I was going to record, but I was recording some taste test videos, some unboxing videos, sharing some of my collections with you guys along with other videos. I started to collect hockey cards and from day one I shared that experience with you guys. I know not everybody was into hockey cards and they probably still aren't, but that was something I wanted to share with you guys and a lot of you guys that are into hockey cards really were interested in some of my videos and that I was starting out somewhere and I was sharing all that with you guys. So I was getting a little bit better, a little bit better. In November 2017 is whenever I got my phone and the quality difference from the videos from whenever I was just on my 4th gen iPod to whenever I got my phone which is what I use now was major difference. It was a game changer for me. I really wanted to branch out and do more videos. I just didn't know what to do. So I was doing a little bit of everything back then. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of my stuff were your basic YouTuber videos or style of videos, stuff that pretty much everybody does. But I was just trying to branch out and kind of find my way and see what I really, truly want to do and what I really want to love creating. So in January 2018, I started to come up with more and more ideas of how I want my channel to be. And one of my ideas was to finally start vlogging. I just wanted to share my life with you guys more. I wanted to give you guys behind the scene footage to a lot of my other videos. So that was my idea behind it. I did start my vlogs weekly and honestly it was exhausting. I couldn't keep up to it. So I think I only made it to episode nine for my vlogs by doing them weekly. And then I decided to take a little break from that and I eventually brought them back to what they are now, which is one vlog every almost three weeks now. It's a lot more manageable for me, it's easier to make, I do a lot more, and there's a lot more different stuff that you guys get to see my vlogs now. My original vlogs, whenever I first was starting them, there was a lot of me just rambling on, it was a lot of just talking, not doing anything, and I didn't really like making them back then, but I love making my vlogs now. I also, back in January, started to make story time episodes, and I came in with the mindset of doing them weekly as well. That was kind of what I wanted to do. A lot of my stories back then, some of them were good, but some of them you could tell were not the greatest. I was just trying to fill in a spot for that week, for that week's story time, and come up with something. And I do understand a lot of people did not like them back then, so a lot of my story times back then, because I was doing them as an episode series, and all the thumbnails were pretty much the same, just different colors and that. Not too many people were interested in them, and a lot of my stories back then were not the greatest, so... I ended up canceling out that series, but I have since brought them back in a different way. Now my story times are kind of random. I don't have a set schedule when I'm going to upload a story time. It's whenever I have a really good story time that is worth sharing with you guys. That's whenever I record it and share it with you guys and upload it. So I don't do it like I was back then just because I couldn't keep up with it and a lot were really boring. And this past year, I've done a lot more different videos that I really wanted to do. I wanted to get into more subscriptions, so I did Geek Fuel, I did Loot Crate, I wanted to do other stuff. I started ordering stuff off of Amazon to try. I did my hand on a few product reviews. I started to try Munch Pack, and that was one of my favorite things. Munch Pack actually gave me a code so I could earn a little bit of money and other people could save a little bit of money. So this past year has been amazing. Going into the summer, I wanted to do other things. I started to do jerky videos. I started to do WWE pay-per-view prediction videos. I started to do more thought-out videos and stuff that would interest a bigger audience. But if you go back for the past year, you see that I've tried numerous things. Some of which I still do, but some of it I had to stop just because it wasn't working out for me. It was either stopped being enjoyable to make or it just wasn't getting the views. Now, I'm happy to say that all my videos that I create, 
I am happy making. I'm not just creating them for the views. I honestly enjoy making my videos now. All of my videos I make now I enjoy. And that is something I really wanted from day one. I just didn't know how to get there and I'm glad I did. Over this past summer, I even brought back gaming episode series and it was for Little Nightmares. So it's the first game I finished for a series on my channel from start to finish, which was amazing. Now going forward for the rest of 2018, I have more bigger ideas for you guys, stuff that's already recorded, stuff that's in the works. One of which is me talking about musicians that I love. So I have a top rappers, a top bands, a top vocalists, and a top artist videos that are going to be coming out soon. I think I'm going to do them kind of once a month, kind of like my jerky videos for this past summer. So it is going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to be bringing back hockey card videos. I know I took a break over the summer just because they weren't getting the views. But coming back into hockey season, I'm going to be doing hockey card videos a lot more. I'm going to be trying to attempt to do other gaming series, gaming episodes. I'm going to be bringing back retro gaming. I have a series for Mud Runner. I'm going to be trying Would You Rather. I'm going to be trying Higher or Lower. I'm going to be trying to do a lot more reacting videos. I'm going to be reacting to a lot of my original stuff, my first gaming episode, my first unboxing video, my first taste test video. I have a lot more story time videos for you guys. I have some conspiracy ideas in the works. I have a whole bunch of ideas for you guys. And hopefully in 2019, I will bring back my vlogs to be weekly. All of 2018, I've been in the works for a podcast. I just don't know how I want to do it there. I just want to figure out what I want my YouTube to be first, and that is my main goal right now. So I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more new content moving up to the new year, and I hope you stay with me. But thank you guys for all your support. I love reading all your guys' comments. Thank you guys for this past year. I actually hit 100 subscribers this past year, which is something I honestly didn't think I would ever do. And it really motivated me to take my channel more seriously and to start giving you guys kind of what you want, but also respect myself into making only videos that I really enjoy making. So even though this past year is my second year here on YouTube, I consider once I rebranded my first year because that's whenever I actually took the YouTuber approach and I wasn't just making shitty gaming episodes of whatever I was playing just to have a video to upload. I'm making more thought out videos now with a lot better ideas. And I thank you guys for all your support because you guys are the ones that really motivate me for this. So thank you. But I am going to leave this video here. So moving forward this next year, I'm hoping to make a lot more videos. I'm hoping to do it a lot better. And I hope that I will continue with my upload schedule because I used to upload like five times a week or six times a week and sometimes I would upload multiple videos a day. Now I upload almost three, maybe four times a week, but most of the time it's only three. So I'm going to continue that moving forward into 2019 as well. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.